Hello everyone, my name is BC and today and welcome back to another episode on the Ramble Crap server. This is episode 4 and in today's video we're going to be working on the interior of the house and the exterior and we're just basically going to be finishing off the purifying section of the house or yeah, just making it livable because at the moment it's just it's just walls. It looks cool on the inside, I mean on the outside but on the inside it looks a little bit poopy and, and ugly and horrible but that is about to change in today's video. But before we do head on and get building with the house and cover up all these kind of mistakes with the cobblestone change these bits around add bits to it and etc 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 um there's this little project me and Hudlin we have been working on well it's mainly me and Hudlin because i wasn't able to come online whenever he was online and the whole time zone thing is just very very irritating but he left me a sign down in my mind and um a couple of episodes ago i think it was an episode two or episode one, uh, we kind of, well, I found a, uh, a skeddy spawner and uh, he redid the skeddy spawner. Check torches area for, for, for them. Yeah, <laughs> he left a sign. Right, uh, let's go down. Uh, let's follow the torches and let's have a look at the skeddy spawner. I haven't had a, actually had a look at yet. Um, I think it was this way. Um, torches both sides, but I think it's this way. Um, yeah, the skeddy spawner was to the left. And if we go here, I think on the left... Correct. I can hear a zombie. There is a, a dark spot over there, but um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, we have things, and I hear water. And it, he's been to the end. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't place that there. Uh, I do hear a zombie somewhere, but I also hear skeletons. Hello, guys. Awesome. Wow. Um, where are they going? Oh, I just got here. Let's try not to die because I think we are the only ones with zero deaths at the moment. Oh, they're going over there somewhere. Right, let's have... Oh, he said torches. There are torches over here. Right, let's follow the torches. Let's have a look. Let's see. Um, skeletons? Hello? <laughs> um, oh, we have some bones. So I guess they do come over here. Is this like an automatic killing chamber or do they just like pop up or do I have to wait? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I see one. I see one. He popped up. Oh, he can't see me. That is so smart. Is he like one hit? Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is still a bit of a makeshift design, I'm guessing then. But we're getting skellies. Well, one skelly. <laughs> Before we head off and uh, purify our house on the inside, we need to do some land terraforming because it's kind of floating in the air. And um, yeah. That it's just on a little dirt platform and that's definitely not cool. So we do need a lot of dirt to land terraform this area, possibly some sand and some cobblestone because I like to kind of do it out of cobblestone, maybe have like um, something that we've done on the survival let's play, you know, with the wall when it kind of goes up into the wall, kind of, I want this to be slightly on, on like a, on like a cliff side, like this house kind of overhanging on a cliff side. It will look cool, but we need some cobblestone, we need some dirt, we need some sand and we just need to make it look good. Uh, but uh, we don't really have many resources, so we need to go and gather them up. But the, the, the tools that we have are just, are just horrible. They're, they're horrible. You know, they're simple diamond tools. Blech. <laughs> so I asked Endervive, there is an enchanting table anywhere in spawn and there isn't, but there is one in the nether. Uh, well, in the end, which we have to go to the nether uh, through a portal and go into some upper ladder and, and, and tunnel and, and into the end portal. So Endervar, thank you very much for letting me know where the enchanting table is and where the, like, the makeshift XP farm for the server is, which is absolutely awesome. So we're going to head over there, check it out. But before we do, let's make some tools and I'll see you there. So we have made it into spawn and uh, boy, oh boy, <laughs> there are paths now. We don't go boing, boing, boing anymore. We are... Uh, <laughs> we have a path to walk on. Also, there's so many a brand new build. So we've got this, which is, I'm guessing this is the iron shop. And then we also have a shop over there, which I have no idea what it sells. We'll check it out in the future. And uh, there is a yellow shop, uh, which I'm guessing is like a lucky game, lucky block game thing. Um, I'm, I'm really not too sure. But what we are looking for is the end portal. Well, the nether portal first, which is over here. Uh, which should, in theory, take us to uh, the end. So let's have a look. Let's go in here. And uh, once this loads up, uh, there's supposed to be a ladder somewhere. Let me, 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 
Let me check. Oh, there's a ladder right, by <laughs> right behind us. Okay. <laughs> I did check. Right. I wanted to check the uh, the chat. Right. Um, end portal and badlands. Let's go up the, the ladder. So I just went through the portal into the, well, where the end portal is supposed to be. But um, there is nothing here. What? And that was an absolute disaster. So it decided to text Edniva in the main Minecraft chat asking him for help, saying, bro, I am lost. And as a good friend that he is, he came over in the nether, met me, well, found me, and uh, guided me to the right location of the end portal. <laughs> we are in the end. End of our, you absolute legend. Helping us out, finding the end portal. We get lost. I, I swear we get lost all the time. Um, <laughs> everywhere. But uh, we are in the end. We got the achievement now. The end. Uh, without beating the ender dragon. And I'm guessing this is the end of farm? Yeah, it looks like it. Right, let's let's go in there. Let's slay some Enderman. Let's grab ourselves some XP, even though we only really need one XP level. What is this? This is AFK spot. Okay. Uh, what is in here? Uh, this is the Enderman farm. Okay. Uh, what is down here? Uh, this is a collection system and the enchanting table. Awesome. Right. Let's kill some Endermans, uh, grab ourselves some levels, and enchant some gear. So, after saying all these endermans, we have 33 levels, but now I've realized we have no lapis. Why does this always happen to me? Hey guys, how you doing? Right, so with all of the lapis acquired, we can now start enchanting. And we do need an enchanting table, an enchanting table, or not an enchanting table, a crafting bench. To make some more pickaxes, we got a pickaxe. What else should we get? Um, a shovel. Let's get a pretty decent shovel. Why not? Uh, and maybe a decent sword. A decent sword would be absolutely awesome as well. There we go. And let's have a look what sort of enchantments we can get. The enchanting session has been an absolutely amazing success. So um, we got um, amazing two pickaxes. One which is a fortune three, unbreaking three, efficiency four. Absolutely amazing dream pickaxe. Uh, we do need to add some mending to it in order to keep it all uh, nice and fresh and always tops up with durability. Same goes for the silk touch. We also got ourselves a silk touch pickaxe, efficiency four, which we will turn that into an efficiency five pickaxe uh, with an unbreaking three, and possibly we'll add some mending to it in order to make it unbreakable. Um, and in the future, maybe we'll get some netherite and, and turn these two into like netherite pickaxes so they're indestructible. And and now we also got uh, this pickaxe and this pickaxe which we're going to combine together and get a nice workhorse pickaxe and same goes for these two pickaxes we're going to combine these two together and get a nice uh, workhorse pickaxe afterwards and once the durability dies we'll combine them together and make an efficiency five pickaxe so in the future if we do get a beacon it will be absolutely amazing and then for the sword we only got on breaking three but um <laughs> i do i do want to i do want to keep on enchanting uh but we're out of diamonds so um we need to go mining let's hold our horses with the mining stuff and things keep that for the next episode but for now let's do some land terraforming shall we <laughs> So the land terraforming is now complete, well, nearly complete. We've completed the majority of it, like the 90%. There's some still bits and bobs that we still need to complete over here in this area, but that'll be in the future episode and also like the front over here, etc, etc. But I've got some other plans, so I don't want to like completely land terraform an area. I didn't have to redo it in the future completely again. I'd rather land terraform it for like the spots that I need it to and then touch it up later whenever we actually need it to and we'll probably add a little bit some bobs over here like maybe a little sewage system over here hence why this a little kind of like a a dip inside over here and then it like sticks out and then another dip maybe like a sewage system going in and then out like a little tunnel thing i don't know we'll 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 plan it out and um if we go out into the ocean or the sea 
Uh, let me show you how this looks like. It looks absolutely amazing. The house is finally not floating up in the air. It's not a floaty uppy house. It's, uh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have lost my words. I have no idea how to call this house. It's just a house now. It's not a floaty uppy house. Um, I started using the ender pearls and it's, it's, it just makes life so much easier. But at the same time, um, it makes life harder with little endermite things, which sadly, well, happily, they didn't spawn this time, but they nearly killed me <laughs> when I was playing off camera. It is turning nighttime, so let's do some uh, sleepity sloop. Uh, snoozing away. There we go. Boom. Haha. -ha. It is day. I'm an absolute genius. Anyways, moving on. So now what we're going to be doing is working on the interior of the house. So, um, well, mainly because the interior of the house is very, very poopy. It is just torches and walls and cobblestone seeping through the edges, which is not cool. It definitely isn't cool. So um, I have like a little bit of an idea. So over here in this room, um, I was thinking maybe do like some sort of like a living room or like a uh, like a like a lounge area so we'll have a mini tv a little couch um some bits and bobs on the side we'll, we'll figure things out um i don't like these doors how they stick out so i'm gonna have to figure something out i don't know what but we'll have to do something because we cannot place them on stairs it's just not possible minecraft fix your things <laughs> i swear you used to be able to put doors on stairs but now you can't I, I i really don't know why it's it's annoying but we'll we'll find a way around it somehow um and then over here um i might build up a wall or maybe there's some sort of a railing to kind of keep this space open i, I will figure things out um and then here this is going to be like a walkway in the future we're going to have a, a, like an exit with like a little suspension bridge thing going to the left um Maybe a little kind of like a dock over here so you can go out, go into a boat and zoom off into that island, which I think if it's not claimed by anyone, we might soon do some bits and bobs over there. But for now, the plan is to avoid this area um, and kind of concentrate on the interior. And then in the future, we might have some sort of a staircase or a drop down thing over here that will take us to a future storage area. But that's, that's future plans over here. And then in this room, what we're going to be doing in today's video, um, I was kind of debating uh, what to do in here because I, I, I seriously had no idea. But uh, I've came to a conclusion that a cinema room would look amazing. Um, and um, yeah. It kind of works as well because we have this big thing over here so we can put like a massive painting uh but some big subwoofers over here maybe a big seating area and it'll just it'll just look pretty cool and it kind of looks a bit like a cinema you know he's got all these textures like those things going side to side you can you can imagine these are like um sound diffusers or like sound dampening material uh we, we might actually put some actual blocks that look a little well what was that oh, i thought that was a creeper or something i don't, don't ask me why i thought that was a creeper but just just a smoke it got very very scary <laughs> so that's the initial idea so what i'm gonna do is uh, gather myself some blocks might go to the shopping district purchase some bits and bobs we don't have any diamonds so probably won't be purchasing anything or much uh, but i'll gather some materials see what i can come up with and i'll be right back with you guys so halfway through designing the interior of the house, I desperately needed some wool, and Hocus came to the rescue. Really, I only need one piece of wool for a painting, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it is so hard. There's no sh there's no animals that spawn on my island. Never. Same goes for the other islands next to it. And like every time I need wool or anything, I just spend the whole night killing spiders, which is not really efficient. So if you have like as many as you can get. I will pay diamonds for it, like even for the like oh. the littlest amount. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up, but I don't need diamonds. I need something else that I think you have. Oh, bones. Bones. Yeah. Um, you I don't bones, know. Right? I, I I should. I mean, I haven't farmed, so I don't know how many I have. But <laughs> well, <laughs> if not, if I don't have enough, I will deliver them to you. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, check. Are you underground? Or... I'm going underground currently to, to see how much bones I have. Because I don't oh, have a okay. proper ex like I don't have a proper spawner set up. It's like a makeshift one. Um yeah. it doesn't properly work. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it takes forever. <laughs> I haven't I haven't touched it ever since I've really found it. Um Hudlin came okay. around and he did some modifications, but it's still like a, a makeshift one. <laughs> Alright, that's 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 fine. Uh forty nine bones, that's all I have. I mean, I'll take it. I just need bone meal, really. So oh, okay. I'll give you 49, and then I'll supply you with, like, 
a stack of bone blocks later on. I would deliver it to I, one of your shops, okay? I Yeah, I would appreciate that. That'd be great. Um, I have the 49, 49 bones for you. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. And then your end of the deal... Yeah, got I a couple stacks I, there for you oh i don't even have the inventory space to, to conceal <laughs> it oh awesome thank you you're an absolute lifesaver bro and i'll deliver a stack of bone blocks well like All really right. really soon to your to your barn shop i'll, I'll make yeah, i'll, I'll make that. it really obvious like really <laughs> obvious okay good good <laughs> The interior is now complete. As you can see, peeking through the windows, we have some flowers, but we're going to actually do a proper tour inside. But just want to give a big thank you to Hocus because he supplied us with wool. Literally two stacks of wool. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we do need to deliver some bones to his shop, which we will do in the future, possibly next episode. But entering into the kitchen. And I know I did say this is going to be like a, a cinema room or something, but then I ended up making and turning this into a kitchen because we need some furnaces space. We need some working furnaces that aren't out in the open that we can just like put things in and just have them smelting away and they don't look randomly placed somewhere. So a kitchen, we got a little stove over here. We got a little sort of mini dining table just for me with one seat. Uh, I mean, you can turn this seat over and have two people, you know, have a romantic dinner. Maybe Hocus can come round and uh, we can have a dinner. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> and then um, over here, we have a little bit of a desk. Again, with a seat that can go either ways um, with with a bit of a dying plant. Why, why, why? We need to water our plants, guys. We need water for our plants. And then over here, we have some storage, which I just threw in some junk. <laughs> um, a little kind of tree things uh which i think what i might do is put a pot and then like a dead plant inside but we don't have any dead plants so i just did it like this uh some flowers in each corner and and, and mushrooms don't forget about the mushrooms and then over here a little kind of shelving unit thing with with little flower pots and, and flowers and saplings and then moving on to the corridor area we have turned this into sort of like a tool station so we might have all of our tools in these uh possibly like enchanting books whatever we've got anvil uh the grindstone repair thing whatever you want to call it uh one of those the the stone cutter uh and, and then a, a flower well it's a sapling um and then over here nothing has changed it's still dangerous this is adults only area for now you've got to be supervised um but in the future there's going to be like a uh, like a suspensed walkway going off to the left over here and then moving back inside of the house uh this area is temporary hence why i didn't put much detail in here because we're going to be ripping this apart and doing some sort of a staircase or a drop down into a future storage area so that's future plans hence why i didn't put too much detail in here and then moving on into uh, the uh the living room lounge area whatever you want to call it so first things first we have a plasma tv or an led 50 60 100 inch 4k 8k 12k tv you can see the pixels so it's not 12k or 4k but if you stand far enough it's it's close to 12k you know just shh, don't don't tell anyone don't tell anyone we are we are faking 12k but it's close you know it's close you've got to believe it um and then over here we have this awesome couch uh that we can just sit and remove these torches because we don't need them same as over here haha -ha, no more ah, one more um, any more torches? No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> moving back to the lounge area. So, yeah, amazing sofa. You can just chillax, you know, just sit down, watch your kung fu fighting guys just playing on the plasma 4K, 12K LED TV. Um, oh, you can see my butt. That's not cool. Uh, let's change the... F ah! Okay, <laughs> now moving on to the final part. We have things. <laughs> we have this little... Uh, kind of table, cabinet, desk. I kind of wanted to put a chair over here, but I might interfere with the doors. Uh, so it's just here with a little flower, you know, place something on here if I want. I fixed the problem with the doors. Just put like trap doors up here. So it's kind of flush with the wall. It looks nice. Adds a little bit more detail without bulking this area out too much. And then over here, this is really cool. So this is actually a storage compartment, but you don't see it as a storage compartment because you have to open it up. And boom, barrel, a secret storage compartment. Anyone comes breaking into the house, they will not know. They will not have a clue 
there is a storage compartment in there. And also, it's like a little safety anchor, bunker thing, whatever you want to call it, because you can go here, and boom, you go in here, and you hide away from all the robbers that <laughs> are trying to rob your house and, and steal everything. you got all your, all your bling blings in here. Um, there we go. Let's put a shovel. There's our bling bling. It's diamond. It counts as bling bling. And then you're all nice and safe. Uh, but for now, let's let's just go out here. But in the future, and like in all honesty, what we're going to do is probably uh, turn this into some sort of a secret entrance to somewhere, maybe like a little back cave or something. That would be absolutely amazing. And then finally, moving to the upstairs, the most important room there is, which is the bedroom. And uh, we don't have a door, so it's a little bit unsafe, but that's okay. We are all about the aesthetics, right? So we have a little shelving unit over here. Um, I covered the these two stair thing blocks with some signs. It actually looks pretty decent. We got uh, some 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 books, you know. We like reading books. We got to read books in order to be smart and educated, um, and to gather all the knowledge, you know. We got to beat everyone in here. Be the richest rambler on on the planet on this world. <laughs> um, and moving besides the books, we got a little storage area, which I might replace this with an ender chest in the future because an ender chest we need one just to keep all of our other bits and bobs, uh, like a little ATM sort of thing. Um, and then the bed with a little storage area at the top and uh, little signs over here to the bed, adding, giving it a little bit more of that detail and the trap doors over here on, on, the, on the barrels, on the storage, which will probably put something in here. I have no idea what, but it, it's, you know, you guys got to imagine. Use your imagination. But anyways, unfortunately, this does bring us to the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you really, really, really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for the absolutely amazing support. We are so, so, so close to 1K subscribers. It is absolutely crazy. And there is a sunset. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful. I kind of wish we had this out, like the balcony so we can look at the sunset but uh, oh that looks pretty cool also <laughs> but um thank you so so much for the absolutely amazing support guys thank you so much for just being there whenever i upload like i wasn't expecting for this channel to to, to get to the numbers we are currently at and uh it, it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and and you guys it's all thanks to you guys like from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And I cannot wait until we hit 1k. We are so close. We are just over 100 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. And 1,000 subscribers, it's a crazy number. Like, crazy. Absolutely crazy. But anyway, it's not really bad. I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Take care, everybody. And bye-bye. Woohoo! Oh, I thought I'm going to jump. Ah, hey. Okay, let's get back inside. The water's cold. <laughs>